Hello, my name is Lizzie. Each week I'm bringing along a different origami fold to inspire you to get a little bit creative and find out what's possible from just folding paper. Now this week I'm bringing along something a little bit different which is very playful. Um, it's a grasshopper. Grasshoppers uh, are an amazing insect. Um, very old, probably at least 250 million years old from the Triassic period and uh, they can cause a lot of damage when there's lots of them, but they are also very lovely insects. Um, where we live in the UK, actually, tiny little, tiny little bit of grass in front of where we live gets grasshoppers every year, and they just fill me with such joy to hear their song. So um, we're going to fold one. It's incredibly simple and very playful. I'm not quite sure of the origins of this one, whether it's traditional or it may be from Kasahara. Um, but this is a lovely one, I think, for, for children, but actually for everybody. Super simple, but I find myself just making a little grasshopper and leave it on my desk and it just makes me smile. Most of all, I think you have to see how it jumps as well. So I'm going to take a look down here. So they've sort of got like a... The angle of them is this is the head, obviously the jumping legs, but you can just hit the back and it will flip over. It's more of a flip than a jumping forward, but you never quite know where they're going to go, which is a little bit like grasshoppers. So I hope you're going to enjoy this. It's a very playful fold, very simple, very easy to do, um, but great fun. I think very dynamic. And I, as I said, I just sit there pondering and seeing the grasshopper in it which is rather lovely and i guess of course they they would eat um plant fibers and in a way that's what that's what paper's made of as well so i hope you hope you're gonna have fun with this um i am gonna keep mine smallish actually because i think a big grasshopper would look weird they are small things so i've just got a scrap of paper and i'm gonna make a square from that and show you how to fold one of your uh, one of your own here we go so I'm going to take a corner, I need to make a square, take a corner, line up. All of these films dedicated to my colleagues in the hospital, UCH, encouraging staff to do something for themselves. But this is for everybody. I'm um, thinking also of children at this time, but all, all ages I think we could do keeping our playful inner child going. I'm going to get rid of the, get rid of the flat. So I'm going to take this, bring it back. And this is also part of a project called We Can Origami. With that positive mindset, you absolutely can do origami. I think it's about being playful, patient, kind to yourself, taking your time, knowing you will get there. You will. So, so far, all we did was we made a square of paper. So if you have origami paper already, I need you to do that diagonal fold. So it closes up like so. So our next fold is to close it in half again. So I'm going to take this take this corner and meet the other corner. So here goes. Nice and simple, corner to corner. Good strong fold. Here we go. Um, now the loose corner, I want you to bring up to the top. So again, it's corner to corner. So taking this and bringing it up. Like so, we're almost there. It's that simple. It is a really simple fold. And I'm now going to turn it to the back. And again, I'm going to take corner to corner. Like so. So you pretty much made it. <laughs> it is that simple. Um, but we need to think about getting the legs. So I am going to turn it so that the sort of diagonal is up here at the top. And one end will be the head and one end will be the tail. So you need to give it a bit of an angle actually and we need to get the legs up. So I'm going to take the bottom there and I'm going to fold it up. So it's going to be from that narrower point which is the head and I want to give it an angle so it's actually wider at the back. Right I'm still playing with this. A little bit harder to do it into a camera but I'm trying to get the leg up so it feels like the back leg of a grasshopper, a little head, but now a bit wider there, which could be all the wings. And that's it, I'm fairly happy with that. So this should be a little bit wider, that little angle. And now the other one to match. So I'm gonna turn it now to the back and lifting up that bottom and matching it there. 
There we go. So that is your grasshopper. Can you see there's this lovely little collection of like wings there, the lovely folded legs, got a little head there. Let's see whether it works. So I'm going to pop it down and I'm going to have a go at just hitting, <laughs> hitting the back. Yes, I will do somersaults basically. Lovely. So it's very dynamic. Hey, very dynamic fold. You never know where it's going to go. You could you could draw on it, but I I love the simplicity of this one. It really does feel like a a little grasshopper there. So I hope you can have fun, make a little collection, jumping grasshoppers, and I hope it will make you smile and others too. Thank you very much.